Did you know that Queen Victoria looked after an African orphan? This topic's been chosen by my lovely patrons on the central tier or higher. If you'd like to join them, click the link in my bio. This is Omoba Aina from the Egbado people in modern-day Nigeria. Omoba is a title, kind of equivalent to a British prince or a princess. When she was five years old, her village was sacked, her parents were killed, and she was enslaved by the King of Dahomey. The King of Dahomey, in turn, gave her to a British sea captain called Frederick Forbes. Forbes gave her a new name, Sarah Forbes Bonetta, after himself and his ship, Bonetta. And he took her home to meet Queen Victoria. As you do. Slavery was outlawed in the British Empire at this point. She was seven years old, and by the time they got to England, she'd already taught herself English. Forbes said she is far advanced of any white child of her age. Queen Victoria really liked her and gave her an allowance to live on for the rest of her life. She often visited the royal family and played with their children. She became a bit of a celebrity, reported on in the press as the African princess. She ended up marrying a Sierra Leone merchant called James Davies, and Queen Victoria was godmother to their first child.